All right, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to more Yu-Gi-Oh! My name is Raven from the Sky. And let's do this. Uh... Including this card to the total number of monsters banished. Not yet. Let me see. Vendred. I played those on the channel before, I think. Did not Vendred. I did. I think I did. <laughs> or did I? Because uh, I used to stream this. I need to get back into streaming this. Well, I streamed Link Evolution. And um, I think I, I played those on stream. God, I've done so much Yu-Gi-Oh! I can't even remember. I remember certain decks I've done, but I can't remember them all because I've done so many. Like Link Evolution. Or was it Legacy of the Duelist? The original Legacy of the Duelist. Yeah, the original Legacy of the Duelist. I think I did almost 700 episodes. Almost 1,000 episodes. We're over 1,000 total Yu-Gi-Oh! But... You know, and I don't think he has anything in his graveyard. No. <gasps> during the main phase. That's why I, it triggered during my opponent. That's actually pretty good. One monster in the field change at the face up defense position. Dude, it's like he has nothing in his graveyard. That's a free monster. I keep saying that. I'm gonna keep saying it. I didn't. I didn't realize how good Gillosaurus is. I just. Oh, he got back. Let me. Let me poke at him first. I'm gonna poke at him. Get him to use some of that back row he's holding on to. poke at him a bit. I don't want to sit there and summon Super Tyranno right off the get. And see, see, he's got back row. And then he gets rid of Super Tyranno and I done banish my hand trying to summon it. You know what I mean? And I'm sitting here top decking and he's playing Vendred. He's going to tear me to pieces. Darn it. I think some a level eight easy with these two. It's Shadal, Gimmick Puppets, and a Vendred. What the heck is he playing? Is he playing Vendred? I saw that Vendred Nightman. and assume he's playing Vendred. Oh, see ya. Beating people into submission. These dinosaurs, this is brute strength. Three minutes. All right, we'll squeeze another one in. I'll squeeze another one in. Come on, man. I'm loving this deck, man. Brute strength. Literally ripping people to shreds with T-Rexes and Velociraptors and everything else. All right, let's duel. I'm loving this deck. I'm loving it. One of my favorites, which I'm probably going to keep it around. Usually after I'm done, I delete the deck to, to, to uh, you know, to create more space. But I think I'm going to keep this. This is one of the few. I like this is a brute strength deck without having to use skill drain. You know what I mean? Like, that's what I like. I don't have to use skill drain. Look at Saber 1900. Level four, couple zolls. That's old school. I remember him. These two are old school. And there's one, what's his name? Megalomasha X or something like that. That dude is 2000 attack level four. 
That is insane. Heavy storm dust will set this. Uh, that's crazy. Cause you can ban it, man. All right, I'll summon 1900. Like I said, we'll poke at him a bit. I should have no. I should have summoned Cubazals, and then use his effect summon Sabersaurus. God darn it! All right, we'll, we'll, we'll poke him a bit. That's what we're gonna do. Poke him a bit. Let's see what he's playing. Feel him out before we lay it all down. Dark D Triceratops is another old school card. Matter of fact, I think that's Tr Triceratops. I, I remember having that doing the original Yu-Gi-Oh. That's real old. Him and Kabazols. I think Kabazols came out doing the original Yu-Gi-Oh. Let me know. Or GX. But they're old. Sabersaurus, I think, came out during GX. No. I used to activate stuff like this when I first started playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And now I realized, hey, uh, you don't negate the effect. So you just wasted your Heavy Storm or Heavy Storm Duster. Mystical Space. It destroys them, but it doesn't negate the effect. So it's best to have cards and you activate them that negates the effect. Oh, great. We're facing Tomb. That's going to cause issues. Destroy that right now. That stupid Tomb Kingdom. Tune table of contents. Of course, you'd have that in your hand. They were a force to be reckoned with <laughs> back in the day. Y'all remember the Pegasus starter deck? Tunes were crazy. And that's back when they had little to very little support. I remember uh, kids. Oh, I'm, I'm going to high school now. I quit Yu-Gi-Oh! It quit too freaking early. The game is awesome. Always has been. It has ups and downs, yes, but uh, I, ca I can't. I can't see myself quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! Even if, you know, with the pandemic and everything, we're really coming out. Off, we're really off the pandemic, but it's still, you know, the, the stuff is still around. I haven't played in person, but I'm playing digitally. You know what I'm saying? I can't. Uh, no. I don't see myself quitting Yu-Gi-Oh! ever. I quit way too early. Way too early. That Joker can attack directly. Shoot. He doesn't have one in his graveyard. Uh, 2400, 3000. Oh, he's Earth. So it would shoot. And it would benefit him too. One normal monster. I'm going to summon a couple of dolls. Figure out how to do this. We gotta get that darn thing off the field. All you can all affect monsters, your opponent lose 500. That knocked him down to 25. Twenty six hundred. Oh my god.
This is. It, I had to summon Copper Zones. Shucks. He ended up summoning another. I wasted my darn heavy storm dust. Yep, bringing out another Toon Kingdom. Because they have like a million Toon cards. A million Toon magics and a million freaking monsters. You get more than one, he come two more. Turns into Cartoon Land. It comes something else. Oh god, here comes another one. Ho <laughs> ho Boy oh boy. What did I say? Oh, of course. Yep, yep. Doesn't matter because he can he can uh attack directly. You know that note, guys. Thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the Sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe if the channel series grow. Take care, and I will catch you guys in the next episode. All right, peace out.